do a get ready for your day, um, have the best day possible uh, dynamic yoga class right now. Um, so before you start, just make sure you have a quiet place, um, free from distractions where you feel clear. So set yourself up. So for example, me, um, I got really into it yesterday. I mopped the floor of my yoga space. Um, I water the plants and I lit some incense this morning uh, so that I'm excited to be here. Uh, so find a place like that for yourself. And then set your mat up there. And you're going to want for this class a strap or uh, something you can use in its place. So I Scarf is good, a belt, a piece of rope, just something. And then put that to your side of your mat and come to sitting on your heels. Take your hands to your thighs, palms down, and just start to move. Inhale, lift your throat. Exhale, round your throat. So just open into your throat as you start to connect your breath to your body. You start to wrap your mind around your breath. You can close your eyes. You can keep them open. And maybe just increase the speed a little bit. And it's not that you're pushing yourself to go faster. Allow your breath to soften you up, to relax you, so that your movements, your breath, you both get more and more food. Open through the throat. Lift through your chin. Now take a couple more. Maybe start to slow down your pace. Lengthen your breath. And then pause in the center. Let that little bit of movement, that connection to your breath settle. And deepen the connection to your breath in the stillness. Deeper your surrender of the need to control the movement of your body. And then take your hands to your sides. And start to lean back, round through your chest, and maybe your knees start to come off the floor so that you stretch the tops of your feet. Now really think about rounding. So inflate the time between your shoulder blades. Relax the back of your neck. And then keeping your finger here on the straight, start to pull your chest forward. Open up through your throat while you're still stretching the tops of your feet. One more time. Exhale, round your spine. Lengthen, stretch your fingers forward. And then inhale, lift through the chin, through an open throat that spot behind your shoulder blades. Take a couple breaths here. Stretching into your toes, into your throat, your whole front side body. Relax the space between your ears. 
and then slowly start to bring the chin up. Roll the weight forward towards your knees. Take your hands on the mat in front of you and just take a second to maybe move your feet a little bit. Release your ankles. Maybe as you do so, you roll your shoulders to lengthen your arms and ground your hands. And then pause in the center. From here, inhale, lift the right arm up. As you exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left. Take your right ear to the mouth. Stretch your left arm front. Take a couple nice deep breaths. Open into your shoulder. Soften between your ears. Maybe close your eyes. Plant your left hand down on the flat. Press into your pointer finger. Inhale, lift your right fingers up. Exhale, set your right hand down. Inhale, lift through the left arm. Exhale, thread your left arm down under the right. Take your left ear to the mat. Lengthen your right fingertips forward as your right hip stretches back. Take a couple deep breaths. Plant your right hand on the floor. Push into the pointer, into the fingertips. Inhale, lift the left arm high. Exhale, set the left hand down. Now from here, maybe scoot back a little bit on your mat. Just start to walk your fingers forward. Lead with the throat. Open through the chest. Start to come into a puppy pose. Now that you're starting to find this opening in your chest, pull your pubic bone up. Pull your ribs in and sit your hips back so they stay over your knees. Maybe that means your chest has to come up a little bit. Knees gently straight ahead. Relax your forehead. Maybe let your chest start to come to the floor. Tuck your toes, start to round your spine, take your hips down to the floor, forearms on the floor, point your toes, round behind the shoulder blades, tuck the chin, take a big inhale, and then as you exhale, lift the throat, open through the throat, breathe. Chin, round your spine. Take an inhale and inflate through the shoulder blades. As you exhale, lift your chin, lift both eyes. Round into your spine. And then lay down onto the mat. Take your arms out like a T. Place the palms on the floor. And then lift your right leg up. 
Take your bent right knee, place the right foot on the floor. Maybe your right hand comes kind of like the top of a push-up. Fingertips pointing forward. Maybe you reach your right arm over, open into the left shoulder. You moved your right hand, plant it on the mat, roll your right leg down, extend your right arm out, lift the left leg, bend the left knee, roll open through the right chest. Maybe you lift your left arm up, maybe you point, put the palm down, stretch your fingers forward, little 90 degree bend in your right elbow, And then plant your left hand down, roll onto your belly. Take your hands so that they're right underneath your shoulders. Bend your elbows, roll your chest down to the floor. Maybe wiggle the shoulders, wiggle the hips around a little bit. And then put your forehead on the floor. Press equally into all 10 fingers. Really feel like the press stretches the palms. Take an inhale, soften as you lengthen. And then as you exhale, lift the chin up, point the toes back, pull the hands back, reach the heart front. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift through the throat. Point back with the toes, gentle squeeze and lengthening of your glutes. Inhale, tuck the chin, lower down. One more time, exhale, pull your fingertips back, lift your throat front, breathe. And then inhale, lower your chin to the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under. Press into your hands. Find your way to a downward dog where you move around. So bend into one knee. That will allow you to straighten into the other leg and lengthen through both your arms. Bend into the other knee. Same thing. Try to relax your arms. Try to stretch them just as much as your leg. Release the tension in the spine and your shoulders. Maybe a couple switch back and forth, back and forth. And then rest your heels down. Up into your shoulder blades. Inhale, roll forward. Shift the weight into your fingertips. Stretch through your arms. Lift your chin front and then start to press forward through the fingertips as your hips go back to a downward dog. Inhale, inflate between the shoulder blades, kind of like a cat spine. Roll forward. Gaze forward. Exhale. Press it to a downward dog. So you're rolling through your spine as you come through the top of a push up and back to a downward dog shape. Take it a couple more times. Really focus on finding mobility, space in your spine, your arms, your legs. Take it one more time. 
and then we'll meet in downward dog. In your downward dog, take a big inhale through your nose. And exhale, just gently let it out. One more time, take a big breath in. Exhale, just surrender to the spot, to the moment. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Bend the knee, take some circles through your hip. Inhale, lengthen the right leg. Exhale, shift the weight into your fingertips. Round your spine, knee to forehead. Inhale, lengthen the right leg. Stretch your arms. Exhale, long arms, long round through the spine. Right knee to the right bicep. Inhale, lengthen, reach it up. Exhale, right knee. Right bicep, and then step the foot forward so that it's outside your right hand. And then just take a couple breaths. Bend and straighten into the right leg. And move your chin back and forth while you do. So that your spine, your hamstring, your hip, in your arms are moving together with your breath. And then pause with the right knee bent. Bring the left knee down. Take the right hand to the right thigh. Press your right thigh open as you roll your heart high to the ceiling. If you want a little bit more, bring your left forearm down. Maybe bend the left knee behind you. Reach for the right foot. If you have the foot, maybe take a couple active stretches. So exhale, you pull your foot towards your hips. Inhale, you stretch it back. Maybe flip the fingers so that they face the same direction as your toes and press the foot towards your glutes. Breathe. Release the left foot behind you if you have it. Take your right hand down. Take your left hand down. Lift your left knee off the floor as you inhale and stretch your chest front. Exhale, step the left foot forward so that it's outside your left hand. Bend into both your knees. Maybe take your hands to prayer and use your hands to press your thighs open and spread your heart wide. deep breaths here. One more inhale. And as you exhale, plant your hands, straighten into your legs as you turn your toes forward. Inhale, look up halfway for a long spine. So your hands, they might be on the floor, they might be on your shins. Lift through the knee pads, lengthen through the throat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Look up. Exhale, take your hands to your heart to the sides. Inhale, reach for your arms, lift through your chest, your throat. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, look up halfway for length. As you exhale, turn your toes out, sit your hips down, bring your palms to prayer. Take an inhale and an exhale that allows you to soften into more space. And then plant your hands down, step your left leg back. Turn your right toes so that they point straight front. 
your left toes so that they point straight front. Bend into your right knee and inhale, reach your arms up high, crescent forward. Press into the right heel. Lift through your heart space, through the back of your neck, through active fingers and arms. Breathe. Take an inhale, sit a little deeper, maybe open more through the throat. As you exhale, take your left hand down and inhale, reach your right arm high. Take your right hand, walk it over towards the left side of the mat, bend into your left knee, straighten into your right leg, Skandasana. Try pointing the right toes maybe, maybe your hands come to prayer, lift through your chest. And then maybe with your hands on the ground for a little support, maybe just with your bandha, Uddiyana bandha, Mula bandha, the lift through the pelvic floor, aided by your breath. You inhale, bend into the right knee, straighten into the left leg. So however you get to this other side, soften your gaze, Stretch the spot between your ears. Reach your hands towards the top of the mat. Turn your toes all hand pointing forward. Plant your hands. Step the right foot back so you're in the top of a push-up. Press into the palms. Use the grounding to stretch your arms. Create a little stretch in this strength. Lift through the lower belly. Lengthen through your heels with your glutes. Take an inhale, push into the floor. Exhale, bend your elbows. Lower down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Plant your forehead on the floor. And then inhale, lift through the chin, through an open throat. Cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes. Hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. You can bend the knee. Open through the hip a little bit. Inhale, lengthen your left leg. Exhale, knee to forehead, round. Inhale, lengthen the arms, lengthen the spine. Exhale, lengthen the arms to cross your knee to the right forearm. Inhale, lengthen it back. Exhale, left knee to the left bicep. Set your left foot down on the outside of your left hand. And then a couple times with your breath, let the movement of straightening and bending your left knee be initiated by the lift and the lowering of your chin, the opening of your throat. Hand, whatever feels right. 
If you're holding on to your left foot, maybe with your breath, you inhale to create space, and you exhale, gently press the right foot towards the hip. Couple small stretch movements. And then maybe eventually you turn your hand so that the fingers face the same direction as your toes and open through the chest as you press the right foot to the right hip. Release the left foot if you're holding on to it. Take your hands, plant them on the mat, lift up onto the left, uh, off the right knee, and step the right foot forward. Find it, your yogi squat. Malasana. Maybe you bring your palms to prayer. Let your tailbone, your roof, just drop. And then grow out of the root by inhaling and exhaling deeply. Place your hands on the floor in front of you. Exhale, press into your hands, turn your toes forward, fold. Inhale, look up halfway for length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your sides. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, turn your toes out. Sit down, yogi squat. Bring your palms to prayer. And then place your hands down, step your right leg back, turn your left toes forward so that all 10 toes point forward, feet hips width. Inhale, reach up, crescent warrior. Ground through your left heel, spread the feet, reach the fingers. Soften into those reaches, those groundings. Maybe open up through the throat a little. And on your next exhale, right hand down, inhale, left arm up. Take your left hand, walk it towards the right side of your mat, bend into your right knee, straighten into your left leg. Maybe hand in prayer. Try to sit the weight back to the right heel. It might mean you need to take your hands forward in front of you to get that grounding. But see if you can try to find that here. Maybe with your hands or maybe with an inhale that comes up through the pelvic floor to the crown of the head. You lift up and bend into your left knee. Stretch the right toes, point them. And then walk your hands towards the front of your mat. Turn your left toes forward. Step your left foot back and come to the top of a push-up. Stretch your arms to lift out of the floor. Bring your chest forward to help you pull your hips to the ribs as your heels ground you back. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga, lower all the way down. Tuck the chin, forehead on the floor. Inhale, lift through the chin, cobra. 
Exhale, tuck your toes. Downward dog. Look between your hands and step or hop your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your sides. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, look up halfway. As you exhale, bend your knees, stretch through your arms, Utkatasana. Sit low, lengthen the sides of your body. Breathe. Sit a little deeper. Take a big inhale. Exhale, stand up. Inhale, lift through the throat. Reach through the arms. Exhale, fold here. Inhale, look up halfway. As you exhale, step your feet out. Toes out, heels in. Sit it down for your yogi squat. Bring your hands to prayer. Breathe. So we're gonna do a little movement from our yogi squat to get the heart rate up, warm up the body. So we're gonna stand up, lift the right knee to the left elbow, sit down. Stand up, right knee to the left elbow, sit down. Exhale when you twist. Inhale when you sit. One more on each side, and we'll meet in our yogi squat. Press your hands in prayer, lift your chest up. Breathe. Let it settle. From here, sit down behind you, Roll onto your back with your feet planted, all ten toes forward. Press into the back of your head. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, set them down. Press into the back of your head. Soften, ground through the feet. Try to press your hips as high as you can. Use your breath, keep lifting up and down. the hips on the floor. Take your hands behind your head. Oh, actually, sorry. Grab your, um, your strap or your um, um, scarf or whatever you have. Take one hand on either side of it, just arms straight above your head. You're going to tuck your chin, roll up, Reach long arms to your knees, and then lower down. Good. 
Round through your feet. Exhale when you lift it up. still on the uh, strap. Cross your knees, uh, cross your shins or not, and pull your knees in towards your chest. Stretch your legs up, feet to the sky, and then bend your knees again. Curl up, reach your arms forward, lift your feet through the scarf. Pull your knees back in, Reach your arms out, legs up. Curl it in and reach. Pull it in and lengthen. Exhale when you pull it in. Inhale when you lengthen. Relax the neck and throat. Then pause with your knees bent. Take your hands to the fronts of your knees and just roll yourself forward and back a couple times until you roll all the way up to sitting on your heels. Still take the scarf, only this time you're going to reach it up over the top of your head. Inhale, lift through the sides. As you exhale, you're going to take your hips to the right, the scarf to the left. Inhale to the center, you don't have to sit down. Exhale, Arms to the right, hips to the left. Inhale up, exhale down. So you can lift up high, you can stay down low. Just use this stretch to lengthen the sides of your body. And pause in the center. Set your strap down. Stand up on your knees. Knees, hips width distance. Look back at your toes, ankles straight. Take your hands to your lower back. Fingers up or down, doesn't really matter. And then sit up straight. Feel length in your spine, front and back. And on your next exhale, lift through the chin. Keep lengthening through the back of the neck, the front of the throat, as you lift up to go back. Maybe bring your hands to your heels, maybe not. Slowly come up, head laps, and sit down on your heels. Take your hands 
Just use them to help you get your legs in front of you. Stretch both legs out front. Inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, fold toward your back. If your chest doesn't touch your thighs, bring your chest back up, bend your knees. Reach for the outsides of your feet with straight arms. And feel your chest lengthen as it makes a supportive connection with your legs. And slowly, keeping that connection, you can start to take your feet forward. Now your legs may not straighten. That's okay, you'd rather have your chest touching your thighs. Maybe you reach forward with the crown of your head so that you keep length in the front and the back of your neck. Breathe. Slowly bring your head up, lift your chest up, come up to sitting straight, and then stretch your legs out to the side. Maybe use your hands to widen your legs a little bit. If this is kind of rough on your heels, facing this way on your mat, you can always turn yourself sideways so that your heels get the cushion. And then when you find the comfortable challenge in your splits, you can start to walk your arms front. Maybe you just bring your forearms down. Maybe you keep your arms straight. Finding length in your legs and length in the front and the back of your neck. If you want a little bit more, you can reach your arms front. Maybe bring your chest to the floor. Walk your hands back towards your body. Take your right forearm, or sorry, your left forearm to your left thigh. Palm up, and then reach your right hand away from your right toes. Start to reach it to the left toes. Maybe you bring your left hand so that it touches your left foot your right hand so that it touches your left foot. Maybe you start to roll your chest open to the ceiling. Slowly bring it up to the center. Take your right forearm towards your right thigh. Roll your left fingers over towards the right toes. And then stretch your left toes, point them as you reach your left hip. Maybe both hands grab the right foot as you ground through the left toes, the left hip, lengthen through the chest, maybe start to roll open to the ceiling. Slowly 
you bring it up to the center. Bring yourself around to the front of your mat if you're not facing there already. Butterfly your knees out wide. Bring the soles of your feet together. Take your hands around the outsides of your toes. Take your elbows to your inner thighs. And long through the front of your neck, long through the back of your neck, start to lengthen away from your tailbone. Long, long, long spine. Maybe you don't go forward very far at all. Maybe you keep going more and more forward until your forehead's on the floor. Take a couple deep breaths. Plant your feet on the floor. Take your hands behind you. Maybe just roll your knees from side to side a little bit to release the joints. And then lay down on your back. Take your right knee over your left, if you can. Maybe even um, wrap the right foot over the left. And then take your knees over to the left as you take your gaze to the right. Just a gentle twist. Then bring it back to the center. Switch your leg. So put the left leg on top. If you can, wrap the toes. If not, no worries. Take your knees to the right. Your gaze to the left. to the center, pull them in, maybe open up happy baby, maybe give your toes a little massage as you rock from side to side. If you'd like a shoulder stand, take your feet over the top of your head, kind of like you're going into a reverse somersault, hands at your lower back. And push your feet up to the ceiling. Maybe you want a little bit more stretch of the spine. So you take your feet over the top of your head to the floor. Maybe your knees by your ears even. To deepen the stretch, you could always take your fingers to your heels. And just add a little gentle stretch of the arm so that you add a little bit more weight to the lengthening of the back of your spine.
And then just take a couple more breaths wherever you are. If your feet are bent over your ears, take your hands to your lower back. Straighten your legs, lift them up to the ceiling. Maybe roll down one piece of your spine at a time. And come to your final resting Shavasana. So let your palms fall open. Let your ankles fall open. Close your eyes. Take some deep breaths and then let your breath go. Stay in your Shavasana for a little while. Give yourself at least a minute. Maybe even five. It's getting crazy, but these extra little minutes, especially if you're practicing in the morning, you may think that you have to get on to the next part of your day. But if we're always rushing ahead, it keeps us from enjoying the moment. And your Shavasana is like when you come back from a vacation and it's been a little bit, but you look at the photos. And as you see a photo and really look at it, your mind might start to wander to that day that you were, wherever you were, that was so, so special. And your Shavasana is like that moment that is really enjoyable like at the end of your yoga practice. But it allows you to keep your yoga practice with you. Just like, even though you might not be on that trip anymore, you might have really learned something valuable. And that moment when you look back on it, sometimes fills you with just so much gratitude for the experience that it puts you in a better place. So these moments that you give yourself this little bit longer in Shavasana, let them help you fill yourself up with your practice so that it goes with you throughout the day. The feeling of connection to your breath lengthening, strengthening of your body, of your mind, connecting it with your breath. That moment that you took for you, congratulate yourself. Celebrate it and be grateful for it as it ruminates throughout the day. Now stay in your Shavasana as long as you may like. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. Namaste.